we're, we're so privileged to have both the Toronto Mass Choir and New World Sun uh, together, and you guys are in for a real treat. mark the beginning of planting season, we're looking at one of Ontario's most invisible group of workers, migrant laborers. Many of them come from Jamaica or Mexico or Trinidad and work in our fruit and vegetable fields. They spend most of the year far from home and family. And it was a few weeks back that a church in the Niagara region welcomed them back with a special concert. Here's how the Toronto Mass Choir, together with the gospel reggae group New World Sun, sounded at Orchard Park Mennonite Church. And, you know, what about the farmers uh, who work with these men day after day in the fields? And, and they have a relationship with them as well. Yeah. What did they make of the concert? Well, John Thwaites was one of the farmers. Paul is his worker. And John told me the concert really adds another dimension to the relationship. Everybody was there as equals. Not, not that we're not equals. I don't know if everybody had that feeling, <laughs> but I did. And, uh, you know, it, the, the crowd was all mixed. There wasn't the workers on one side and the... Niagara townies on the other side or something like that. It was just all mixed and uh, I could see Paul at the end of the row. They were, you know, kind of dancing to the music. It, it was the first time I'd seen Paul in that setting and he's a good speaker and he's easy to talk to and, and he can express himself well and he's one of the guys I talk with if there's a problem, you know, that's something like that. But <clears throat> when you take the take the man out of the out of the work clothes with a shovel or a pair of pruners or something and put them in that setting and it was like wow that's that's that side of Paul that I haven't seen before and uh, it, it's a different person then <laughs> sort of you all got to know each other yeah. more deeply yeah and at the same time he was probably looking back where I was standing thinking, oh, I've never seen John here at a church service before or <laughs> Yeah, it was one of those moments for both of us. <laughs> and what did Paul make of the concert? He too felt it was a turning point. It brings black and white together. So maybe that's why she was saying when they start, it was like a distant because you are black, so you try to stay to yourself. You are white, you try to stay to yourself. 
But because of having this fellowship and you you kind of get to know the type of person I am. Not because I'm black, I still have red blood run within my veins. Not because you're white, you still have white red blood running your veins. So we get to know that we are all human. Yeah, not so invisible anymore. What does that mean about next year's concert then? Well, everybody wants to do it again. The choir, the church, the reggae band, the people in the community.